Welcome to Planet's Backup and Restoring Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm using CounterVision Solid Ultimate version 11. I'll demonstrate how to backup and restore your data. Firstly, I'll demonstrate what settings in your computer you need to turn off to successfully complete this backup. User Account Control Settings, UAC. We need to ensure the UAC is turned off to allow access from the data from SQL. If the UAC is turned on, the backup will not be successful. To turn off the UAC, go to the Start menu and type UAC. Select the User Account Control Settings tab and this screen will appear. Use the Control Panel within the Always Notify and Never Notify panel to scroll to the bottom to Never Notify. The UAC is now turned off. Windows Defender Firewall To turn off the Windows Defender Firewall, go to the Start menu and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Select the Windows Defender Firewall tab and this screen will appear. Select the Turn Windows Defender Firewall on and off tab from the left hand side of the screen. Under the headings Domain Network Settings, Private Network Settings and Public Network Settings, select the Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall Not Recommended tab. They'll need to be turned off for a successful backup. Turn on everyone in the security settings. To turn on everyone in the security settings, select File Explorer and go to the C drive. Right click on Cabinet Vision, select Properties, go to Securities tab at the top of the screen. Select Edit from middle of screen. Now select Add from the middle of the screen and type EV. Select OK. Under the Permissions for Everyone heading, tick Full Control Label. All permissions will now be enabled. The system will automatically complete security settings. Once complete, select OK. To finalise, select OK again. Your computer will now be enabled to complete a backup. Backing up data. First make sure the program is shut down. You can shut the program down by clicking the CV button and selecting Exit. Go to File Explorer. Select C Drive. Then select Cabinet Vision. Select Solid 11. Click on CV Backup. Then right click and select Run as Administrator. You'll get this Delete Backups. Select No. I'll now demonstrate the top three tabs. Tab 1, Backup List. This is where you select what you want to back up. I always make sure that all the tabs are selected so I get a comprehensive backup and nothing is missing. Down the bottom of the screen there is Select a Job. This is where you can select the job to save away. The next tab is Delete Archives. This is where you select the previous backups you need to delete. Then finally we have settings tab. This is where you select the settings for the delete archives which will pop up when we select CV backup. Now we'll go back to backups list. Make sure the items are selected. Then press OK. A new screen called backup description will pop up. This is where you write what you want to call this backup. If you just wanted to say the date and time, then press OK. Wait for it to finish backing up. Go to the automatic backups in the Sold 11 folder in the C drive. You will see the time and date that you have just created. Your backup is now complete. If you need to transfer the file, you need to grab a USB stick and select the file you need to copy. Go to USB stick and right click anywhere on the page and select paste. Now I'll show you how to restore. Go to file explorer. Select C drive. Select cabinet vision. 
select Solid 11. Click on CV Restore. Then right click and select Run as Administrator. You'll see a screen like this. On the left hand side it has all the backups you have created which are stored in the automatic backups folder that I previously showed you. On the right hand side you have the files that are in the backups you just selected. You need to make sure you have selected all the files to restore. Hit OK. You'll have to wait a minute for it to process. Now you have restored all the files. Thank you for watching this tutorial on backing up and restoring.